Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. In the previous part, we killed the Witch Hag, uh, another champion boss, but uh, for the first time it uh, wasn't a smooth run because we lost the hero, one of our Hellions, and the rest of the group wasn't in the best shape when we returned to town, so I said uh, that I would play off camera a bit, uh, heal all the stress that we had, some negative quirks, I think, and I did that. I did the one run in uh, Cove and two runs in uh, Ruins, all of that was uh, a veteran level. Didn't get anything interesting, I was just going for gold, so we now have uh, a lot more gold. Managed also get some heirlooms, because at some point I want to upgrade all the buildings to the maximum level. But it's uh, really not a high priority, so I focused on the gold as much as possible. And kind of worked, those were nice runs. Not uh, super difficult, uh, but uh, well, we got the gold, so that was, that's what counts. And another reason why I was doing this run, why I did that many, was because I wanted to get uh, ruins to level 7, so we now have uh, uh, the option to go after the Jubering Prophet, and that's the goal for today. I want to try uh, another boss. Let me check, do we have to talk about anything... That, uh, that I'm doing in town, not really, I'm just healing some negative quirks uh, and diseases that I got um, while playing off camera, no big deal, don't have any interesting trinkets from those rounds, so I think we can just focus on uh, what we are going to do today. Jibbering Prophet, that's the guy who's tr who is like collapsing the ceiling on us and doing quite a ridiculous damage with this attack, unless uh, we can... Uh, uh, stack up debuffs on him that reduces damage when we can do that this was actually becomes a joke so that's the plan uh, the same strategy as we used on um, veteran level for this boss we'll take occultist spam uh, spam um, the weakening curse and hopefully it will be enough so we can handle the boss easily and we won't get into trouble mm. when I was building the group I focused uh, on heroes who can hit the fourth position uh, so all our heroes can attack the boss and we won't have to destroy those barriers he has in front of him. Uh, Plague Doctor, our usual support class uh, with AoE stun to, spe uh, to uh, make it easier to get to the boss. Uh, the boss has quite a low blight resist, so we're gonna keep stacking the blight on him as much as possible. Uh, trinkets, blast them as well as usual, and uh, again, I'm trying to increase the dodge as much as possible, so I took Sun Cloak. Uh, so no surprises here. Occultist, uh, that's the like main hero for his strategy with his uh, weakening curse. Uh, I'm taking um, Cleansing Crystal as usual and Demon's Cauldron to increase the debuff chance. It's very important that we land the curse uh, every turn. So for the boss, I'll try to remember and unequip the Cleansing Crystal to increase our debuff chance even further. With the Cleansing Crystal, it's not guaranteed that we would uh, uh, hit the curse, or more like uh, land the debuff than hit the curse. The curse hits, but uh, I want to make sure that every time we hit, we also apply the debuff. So with the Cleansing Crystal, it's not guaranteed, but without it, we should uh, have 100% uh, chance to uh, land the debuff and that's important but of course uh, before we get to the boss I kind of want to make sure that uh, when we are healing we want uh, uh, we want to bleed our heroes then for second position for the first time on champion level I'm taking grave robber because that was like the only hero that we have available who can uh, hit uh, a fourth position uh, with a decent attack from the second spot with the throne dagger and this is very nice uh, crit chance so we'll go with this attack just keep spamming it over and over again and um, hope uh, for a crit I am using ancestors musket ball uh, so that increases the crit chance and damage for quite a lot this string is really good for grave robber and then I am taking lucky crystal for the extra dodge and um, again, increasing accuracy, I really want to make sure that uh, we kill the boss fast. Uh, so, I think the Grave Robber is really, really strong class for this boss fight. And for our tank, Hellion again, 
because uh, of the Iron Swan, this attack is uh, super strong against many bosses. Uh, for Trinkets, Ancestor's Candle, as usual, and this time I'm taking Necromancer's Scholar, a trophy uh, for killing the champion Necromancer, because uh, the Prophet is uh, unholy. So this is a, a huge buff versus the boss, and also in Ruins, I most of the mobs that we're gonna encounter are unholy as well. So for this uh, run and for this zone, the Necromancer score is pretty strong. Uh, anything else? Not really. Oh, I, we are even unholy slayer, so <laughs> the Hellion should be hitting really hard. I actually didn't check if we have uh, uh, ruins uh, explorer. Probably don't, no, but uh, we have Ruins Tactician, so another modifier to our damage. Hopefully we won't trigger too many traps on the way to the boss. So, let's uh, buy provisions and try to kill the boss. Let's take four shovels. Oh, what I want to take is Anti-Venom, because uh, uh, the boss uh, has quite strong blight. And um, I uh, don't think that we can reliably remove it with our heroes. Maybe we can remove it with the uh, uh, grave robber, but it's only for her. And I also don't want to uh, do anything else. I want to attack every every single time I want to attack. So I'm thinking. Uh, maybe one stack is enough. Six is quite a lot. Hopefully it's going to be enough. I think that uh, you should be able to kill the boss quite fast. So with six, I hope you'll be fine. Uh, what else? We can take medicinal herbs in case we find Iron Maiden. Let's take three keys. Uh, holy water. Uh, there are some uh, curious who need uh, that need holy water in the ruins, and I also want to use four uh, when we get to the boss. So let's uh, buy all we can afford it. And uh, torches, I'm going with 17. That yeah, looks good. Shovels, food, holy water, anti venom torches. Let's do this. And again. Finally. Resigned to his uncommon corporeal resilience, I lured him to the dig. There, I showed him the thing and detailed the full extent of my plans. Triumphantly, I watched as he tore his eyes from their sockets and ran shrieking into the shadows, wailing maniacally that the end was upon us all. Okay, I didn't want to talk when the game was uh, uh, like introducing the boss. What I wanted, I want to say, I wanted to say is uh, that again, we just want to focus on the boss. I didn't care about any other fights. Just want to kill the boss. If uh, we can then like clear the rest of the dungeon, okay, we can try. But I just want to make sure that the boss is dead. Uh, the layout is not horrible. We know where the boss is, so I can't zoom out but it's here the room is uh, like r right above this room uh, one two three four five six so it's seventh room that's not bad okay so let's do it if only treasure could staunch the flow of that's not the bad fight, just something to warm up. Um, hmm. What's your bleed resist? 145. Okay, it's not gonna work. I still want to attack the gargoyle, do at least some damage. 3 to 8 or 5 to 11. Let's go with the stronger attack. Destroy them all. And is this enough? It should be. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Their 
formation is broken. Okay. Maintain oh, that's a nice attention. reward. And another point. Oh, this will be a lot more annoying. But we surprised them, so that makes it a bit easier. I think I'm going to start with the blight actually and hope that we have enough damage to kill them. It's risky. But we can focus on them. There is one kill. Annihilated. Um, you can do a bit of damage. And hopefully the Hellion is going to hit as well. Perfect. I just hope that the Sergeant doesn't crit. Oh, that hurt. Let's go for a stun, actually. I want to make sure that the surgeon doesn't get another attack. As the fiend falls, and I probably should heal. Nice heal. Good. And let's just kill the shield wall. It may take a while with this protection. Masterfully executed. But we should be fine. It's almost dead. Wow, nice crit. Good. And again, very decent reward. Uh, want to gold, gold, of course. What is in the sarcophagus? Mm, a debuff. Sanatophobia, which one is that? Uh, stress damage if hit points below 50%. That's not the uh, horrible one. Maybe I'll even keep it. I don't really care about the stress damage. That's like... First, there is a condition where it's active. We keep the hit points uh, close to 100 most of the time. Yeah, this is probably something we may want to keep. In Radiance, may we oh, find it'd be victory. nice to get a map. Nope. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. Come on, scouting. And purpose is made clear. At least once. As I said, I don't want to trigger Packs too many traps. Loot are often low on supplies. Oh, and another blockage. We are down to two shovels. The light, the promise of safety. And again, managed to surprise them. Perfect. Let's try the same thing as the last time. Or go for the blight. I hope that we kill both of them. Uh, this should be enough with the blight. And let's hope that we hit with the hellion. Perfect. This could be quite annoying. Two shield walls that uh, will take a while. And I'm surprised that uh, uh, the grave robber didn't avoid a single attack. Because she has uh, dodge like 42. Okay. Let's keep one of them stunned so we don't have to fight uh, both. Okay, that was a nice hit. And that was another nice hit. Good. So that was faster than expected. This guy is stunned. Um, let's heal again. Hmm. Guys, don't waste your crits. We're gonna need them for the boss. Mm 
the slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, perfect. We dodged one trap. Uh, so we avoided the stress. The the path is clear. And could we, we get the map, please? The nope. To follow it. Does anybody need the food? You can probably eat. And that's all. Okay, we have enough torches. So I'll struck. just use one. A blazing star is born. And now we get scouting. That's not a bad place. Especially since the uh, secret uh, room is uh, right in front of us. That was uh, really lucky here. Uh, how are we gonna do this? One, two, three, four. I think we're gonna camp right here. Hmm. I'd um, much rather like, camp in this room in case uh, we take some stress or damage during these two fights. It's uh, very likely. So we could remove that with the camp. Here we would just camp to empty the inventory. Maybe that's a bit greedy. So let's use the key. And now we have to throw away Time some stuff. Uh, holy water. Performed. Herbs and keys. Okay. Looks good. Uh, those items are not crucial. And we could just uh, use a shovel on this. I think I'm gonna do that. Glittering gold trinkets and of the scouting prog, we know that there can be more than one uh, one blockage, so it should be fine. Oh, this could be dangerous. Oh, come on. Uh, okay. Oh, that was a nice hit. Are you for real? Well, it seems that we have to go for it this time. This is a bit greedy, not focusing on one of them, but I hope that uh, we'll be able to take them down. Of course we won't. Yep, that was greedy, and now we are paying for that. Come on. That's not funny. Okay, now we can heal up a bit. The militia shouldn't be a big problem. <sighs> you can heal yourself. And hopefully we get one more uh, heal.
Probably should heal our off tank. And just finish the fight. Obliterated. Okay, what did we get? We can take the this gold, and I definitely want to take um, sapphires. So I'll just throw away the last torch from this stack. And can we take uh, the trinket? I don't think so. Uh, it's, this one should be 750 gold, so it's not a big deal. Okay, this is much better. One down. Still gonna stun this one. And be nice to get a kill on the sergeant. Uh, here we go. Only 11 damage. Well, hopefully, we can get another attack before the sharpshooter can do anything. There we go. And what about you? I'll just uh, do as much damage as possible. Ah. I'd like to get a heal. Because we can't heal this much during the camp. Never mind. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. How can we do this? Probably can't afford to throw away anything right now. Want to keep the holy water, still want to keep torches. Because maybe throw away one stack of food. Because we can't get more than one hunger proc. That will work, we just can eat it. And I want to take the padlock. That's uh, 1500. So it's worth taking. And now we can camp. A moment of respite. A chance to steal oneself so, again. So first the unspeakable horrors. commune of course, and to make sure that we don't get ambushed. And now sharpen spear. Battle trance. And the last one. Mm. I think self medicate for the extra accuracy. Don't have anything better. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, here we can get a nice buff. I think that uh, with the holy water, this should give us 30% extra damage. Right? There we go. Perfect. Well, 
curious. This is not that good, but uh, his efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. They're still fine. No fights. So I'll just boost the light level as much as possible. Uh, we can. Oh, we can't eat the food. They are still full. Never mind. What we can do is use the holy water. This we can throw away, and I can't believe that I remembered to remember to remove the cleansing crystal. So anything else? Nope. Okay, let's do it. The madman hides there behind the pews. Spouting his mindless drivel. Yeah, this is uh, it's not that bad because uh, uh, he focuses on only one hero for now. And uh, now it's very important that we land the curse because the first attack will be the strongest. I hope that we can uh, reduce the damage at least a bit. There we go. And now we just keep stacking uh, blind and do as much damage as possible. It has a ton of hit points, so it will stay still take a while. But with the damage reduction, you shouldn't be able to do much. Ah, come on! Do you have to crate really? Okay, this is still fine, because now he's targeting different heroes. And that means we don't have to heal and we can uh, keep stacking the curse. Nice crit. Yeah, it's already minus 80%. Impressive. Come on, guys, more crits. And we avoided the stun. Nice. And now, yeah, you can see that the damage is minimal. Finally crit. Down to 54. I'm thinking that um, it's, mm, it may be a good idea to play the safe, or as safe as possible, and go with the Toxin Trickery to increase our dodge. Uh, we can't heal her before uh, the attack hits, so I want to try to avoid it. 20 dodge is a lot. This is fine. What the hell? Uh, he's almost dead. So, I'll just go for more damage. And the Grave Robber is not targeted, so we are fine. This is close, but we're gonna survive. Okay, the boss is dead. We can't heal anyway, so I'll just uh, try to get a crit, maybe reduce stress if we get lucky. And there we go. Did he foresee his own demise? I care not. I, I know that if I killed uh, uh, these barriers, I'd get uh, uh, like items that are worth maybe 1500 gold or something like that. Uh, but on the champion level, I don't think that it's worth trying. Even with those debuffs, he still hit for like 30. So I'm just uh, happy that he managed to get 
through the fight without losing anyone. We still ended up on death's door. So let's take our reward and get out of here. Shovel and what else can we throw away? The food. And let's return to the hamlet. I would say this was a successful run. We still have some stress that we have to heal. The boss wasn't as smooth as I expected. I was really surprised that with the third attack he did that much damage. But well, he's down. So we don't have to worry about him anymore. We have well, like 25,500 gold. That's pretty nice. Plus uh, 40,000 for Holy Ori there is. Let's see what did we get. Oh, and another hero should be on level 6. Natural swing. Oh, that's nice. Dipsomania. We want to remove this one. And what else? Bad gambler. I don't care. We are not uh, uh, gambling to reduce stress. So that's Any another negative matter. quirk that we want to keep. Now, like me, you are a part of this place. Okay. So it was a good run. Let's uh, check our options for the next part. Brigand 16 pounder? I don't think so. Could try to level up warrants to get access to the Swine King, but all the bosses that are left now are really hard. Restraining padlock. What's the trophy from from the 16 pounder? Damage and crit. Oh, this is uh, really nice. Maybe you could try it. Well, I'll have to think about this. It's possible that I'm gonna play off camera again. Level up warrants and cove. Oh, what's this one? Sacrificial cauldron, damage, stress damage. Uh, we would never use this. Okay, so I'm gonna think about this off camera. And um, anything interesting here, by the way? Nothing. Okay, so this is all for this part. Much better than the previous one. We have another boss down. I hope you like this. Join me for the next part again. And until then, have a good time. Bye bye.